The next section of bitwise operators are the left and right shift, which are denoted by two less than signs, two greater than signs, and then three greater than signs. The first operator that we're going to talk about is the left shift. And as I said in the first set of slides, is that what bitwise operators do is they take the bits and they do something to them. Either they're going to make a comparison or they're going to change them in some way. In the terms of shifting, you are actually taking the bits and shifting them one to the left, one to the right, whatever is denoted by this number right here. So we're going to take the bit and we're going to shift them one to the left. So we see all the ones go one forward. And so then we can add using the ones column. And so this has a one in it. This one has a one in it. So 16 plus 64 is now 80. So you can see 40 left shift 1 is 80. Now we can see this play out on different numbers 40, 30, 20, 10. And hopefully you can see the pattern that every time you left shift 1, you are actually multiplying by 2. So 40 times 2 is 80, 20 times 2 is 40, 10 times 2 is 20. So a left shift is equivalent to a multiplication by 2. So if we take this out to its logical conclusion, which is you left shift 1, you're multiplying by 2. So when I left shift by 4, I'm multiplying by 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 to the 4th. So instead of having to actually write out the bits, shift them over, and see what the result is going to be, what you can do is say, I know that 2 to the power of 4 is 16, and I know that I'm shifting 4 times, and so I just take the original number, multiply it times 16, and I get 640. And you can also see as 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 4, all you're doing is you're doubling the number each time. And you can take this out to the kind of absurd. So if you wanted to shift 18 times, and I, I didn't take the opportunity to write out 18 twos, but you can see that it would be 10,485,760. Lastly, when you shift by 3, you're doing the exact same thing to a negative number. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 8 times the original number, which is negative 8, and you get 320. And you keep the sign. It's important to note that you keep the sign. Even though you're shifting all of the bits to the left, that sign bit is still going to, the 32nd bit is still going to be assigned to a negative number. And that'll come into play later. The um, complement to the left shift is the right shift. And the right shift is denoted by two greater than signs. And we can see, well, what happens when I right shift by one? Well, let's look what happens with the bits. I take the bits and move them over one. And so you can see the one moves over here, this one moves over here. And so I can say 16 plus 4 equals 20. And hopefully, you can see, as a left shift is multiplying by 2, a right shift is really dividing by 2. So 40 divided by 2 is 20, 30 divided by 2 is 15, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So a right shift by 1 is equivalent to division by 2. Again, we can take this to its logical conclusion, which we did with the last one, and said, OK, so if I'm shifting by 3, I could say, 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 to the power of 3. So I take 40 divided by 2 to the power of 3, which is 8, and that's going to be equal to 5. Now we have something interesting going on here. We see that 40 divided by 16 is certainly not 2, and 40 divided by 32 is certainly not 1 if we're doing real division, but we're not. When you shift, you are doing integer division. So you just simply drop the remainder. And so in both cases, we drop the 2.5. It doesn't matter that it could possibly round up. We don't round up. We just get 2. And then, again, if we take it out to the absurd and say, OK, I'm going to shift by 18. 40 divided by 2 to the 18th is going to be some number far less than 0. Well, any time you get a number less than 0, it's just going to keep the integer get rid of the decimal, and it's going to be 0. Another point to be made is when you shift a negative number using a right shift, it, it, it too is going to keep the negative value. You can see 2 to the power of 3 divided by 8 is negative 5. It holds on to its negative value. That negative 32nd bit is not shifting. 
and that will again come into play in just a second. Finally we have our logical right shift which is an extra greater than sign. And so this is actually going to look familiar to you. Nothing is different from this right shift with two greater than signs and this right shift with three greater signs when it comes to positive numbers. So you see when we take this and we shift it over right, what are we going to get? Well, we should expect that it should be divided by 2, and that's actually what happens. We get 40 divided by 2, 30 divided by 2, and so the exact same thing happens with a bitwise right shift using the logical shift, these three symbols instead of the two right symbols. But what is different is when you're dealing with negative numbers. And what I've written down here might look like a screenful, and it absolutely is. Let's say that we have the number negative 1, and we're going to right shift it 1. And this is the result that we get. In 2's complement, when you write out negative 1, it's going to be 1's across the board. And these are 32 bits, you can see, starting with 0, going all the way up to 31. So because there's a 0, you add one more. And so it's actually 32 bit. And so you shift everything to the right one. In this slot right here, we're going to get a zero. This slot, the reason why I've made it red, is that you can see that it is the sign bit. And if it's a zero in there, it's going to be positive. If it's a one in there, it's going to be negative. When we right shift one using the logical shift, that's going to change it from a negative number into a positive number. It's going to do the same thing right here from a negative number to a positive number. But here's the difference between the two shifts. This logical shift does not care about the sign bit. It will change it and it will let it be changed. But this, a right shift with two greater than, does care about the sign. And what happens is, after the shift, it goes back and it puts in the sign bit. So, right shifting negative 1, 1 actually gives you the exact same number because the 0 is placed here but then the compiler goes back and says I'm gonna put a 1 and preserve the sign. So we can see there is actually a significant difference between the logical shift up here and this shift with just two greater than sign. From what we've learned there are three types of shifts. Left shift, right shift, and a logical right shift. The left shift equivalent to multiplying by 2. The right shift is equivalent to dividing by 2. The logical right shift is also equivalent to dividing by 2. The only difference is this sign bit right here. With logical shifting, it does not care about the sign bit. With regular right shifting, it does. It will shift, but then the compiler will go back and place the appropriate sign back into the 30 second slot.